guys so tomorrow I am making a day trip to the beach to the Jersey Shore it is my first time all summer going which is totally crazy because it's like almost already August and I have not been yet so I am very excited and I just got finished packing my beach bag for tomorrow and I figured that I would do a what is in my beach bag type of video because I've never done one of these before but I've seen them and I think that they're really really cute kind of a little twist on the what is in my bag or what is in my purse video which you guys typically like when I do those so if you guys want to see what is in my bright shiny little beach bag then please just keep watching and I'm also gonna be giving away one of the products that I talk about in my beach bag so make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to see what product that is and how you can win it. this bag is from Lily Pulitzer it's like totally blinding you guys because of the light and it's just so bright um, but I love this for the beach it's like one of those little recyclable bags you can like put groceries and stuff in these type of bags but they're great for the beach so let's just go ahead and dive in and see what's inside so first things first you gotta have sunglasses these are from Mandy I actually bought them yesterday Mandy's was having a sale where where everything in the store was under $10. So these were only $3 and I thought they were so, so cute. So tomorrow will be my first time wearing these bad boys and I just thought they were really cute like little cat-eyed sunglasses. I don't like to bring super expensive sunglasses with me to the beach because you know I'm gonna be like going in the ocean and I just always feel like I'm gonna lose them or break them or somebody's gonna steal them if I bring a nice one. So I always just like to bring a little pair like this that are cute but you know if I lose them or they get damaged it's not a big deal. Next I have sunscreen and this is the Neutrogena Fresh Cooling Body Mist Sunblock in SPF 70. I do not mess around when when it comes with sunscreen oh no I slather my body in this and make sure that I get absolutely no sunburn at all I naturally have a very fair skin and I do not want to get tan I do not want to get burnt like nothing I do not want that Sun doing anything to my skin you guys know I use self tanner um, so you know I just try and keep my skin in the best condition possible so I'm always putting on a high SPF so I have my sunscreen and then for my face sunscreen I have my Murad essential C day moisturizer with SPF 30 in it I am much much more kind of specific when it comes to sunscreen for my face because I can break out from sunscreen if I don't get kind of a good quality one that's why I like to use this because I actually use this on the daily as a moisturizer on my face every single day um, so I just bring this to the beach because this is only SPF 30 so obviously I'm always applying it every morning to moisturize my face but I reapply this about every hour at the beach just to make sure that I'm keeping reapplying it to my face um, which is why I bring it with me but yeah I like this because it does not make me break out or anything like that I know that since I use it all the time then also for the face I have this uber tan daily face cream and this is actually a self tanner for the face so I like to bring this with me to the beach. I'll normally apply it the night before and then also as I'm leaving the beach. So this gives a nice kind of golden glow to my face. You know, not from the sun, it's fake from self-tanner, but um, you guys know that I don't typically self-tan my face just because I'm always like exfoliating and moisturizing my face, so it just comes off. So on the daily, I don't self-tan my face, but when I go to the beach, either my body's gonna be super self-tan and then my face is like ghostly white or I have to wear makeup, you know, so that it'll match so I don't look crazy and sick. It's like, why is that girl's face so white? Um, so I like to use this self-tanner when I am gonna be going to the beach and not wearing makeup and stuff just so my face can match my neck and this is one of the only facial self-tanners that does not break me out. I love it. It smells really, really nice. It actually smells like carrots which is weird, I don't know. I like the way it smells though, a lot. Um, and it works really, really well. It just gives a nice golden glow to my skin. So like I said, I do like to apply it the night before I go and then also as I'm leaving the beach, I'll just throw some more on so I can have kind of a nice golden glow to my face that is not from the sun so it is not damaging. Then I have a big water bottle. You gotta stay hydrated. This one is from Victoria's Secret and it says I can't even on it. I just think this is so, so cute and it's really, really large. I don't know how big it is. It probably says on the bottom, but you can fit quite a lot of water in this. So I'll normally bring it you know fill it the day that I'm going and then you know normally fill it up halfway through my beach trip just so I can make sure that I am staying hydrated out in the hot blistering sun then I do have a hat I just have this little fedora I got this at the BB outlet and I just thought it was really really cute just kind of plain and has just like a little um, leopard print little thing on it and I'll just put this on my head I'm really not a hat person you guys can probably tell that from me wearing this um, but I like to bring it to the beach with me just because it's gonna further protect my face so I have this and my sunglasses and my SPF all on my face to keep me free from the Sun and then for when I get crazy hat head from that I like to bring my brush with me this is the wet brush so this brush is specifically made to be used on wet hair so in case my hair gets wet from the ocean or whatever I can use this and it will be safe but I actually just use this as my daily brush you guys probably know that if you've watched any hair tutorials of mine so I have my brush with me and then on the bottom here I just wrapped a little hair tie and a hair clip in case I want to put my hair up and out of my face then I have my iPad and I like to bring this with me to the beach just in case I want to listen to music. I have like my headphones 
headphones wrapped around it like that. But just in case I want to listen to music or read books or just go online, whatever, if I can find Wi-Fi, I like to bring this with me to just use when I'm relaxing on the beach and don't feel like, you know, going around and being in the water and doing like sporting things and stuff because I'm not sporty. Whenever I go to the beach, my boyfriend always wants to play like volleyball or like throw a football around. I'm like, no, I literally just want to lay here with my iPad. So I do bring my iPad with me as well. The next I have this Murad Clarifying Body Spray and this is basically just like a spray cleanser for the body which I love. This is part of their acne line and I love to just bring this if I'm going to be going outside anywhere where I'm going to be sweating like during the day and I'll just spray this on my body like midway through the day and it's just going to help to kind of clarify the body, get that sweat off and make sure that you're not clogging up your pores with sweat and you're going to break out or anything like that. And then last but not least I have my bathing suit which is in this cute little package and this is from To Die For Swimwear and I will show you guys what it looks like and this is actually going to be the product that I am giving away to one of you guys so it is so cute like how cute is this bikini like seriously it's baby pink and then it has that nice lace detailing on it I just absolutely love it and then it does have a matching bottom of course so then this is just the matching bottom again with the lace detailing and baby pink I absolutely am obsessed with this bikini. I think it is so, so cute. They have awesome bikinis on their website, like literally to die for, which is what the company is called. That was a good choice on their part because their bathing suits are just so, so cute and they fit really, really well and true to size, which I do like as well because I always kind of get scared about ordering stuff online when it comes to bathing suits because I just never really know. Kind of went out on a whim getting this one and I absolutely love it. So I was very happy about that and I am going to be giving one away to one of you guys. So in order to enter this giveaway, all you guys are going to have to do is follow To Die For Swimmer on their Instagram as well as their Facebook page, which I will have linked down below for you guys. So you can just go ahead and do that and then just comment down below and let me know if you are interested in this giveaway. And if you entered, I would love to know. And that is all you have to do to go ahead and enter. And then within a week, we will be in contact with the winner and letting you guys know um, that you won. And then you can pick out a bathing suit that you guys would like from their website. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I helped you if you are planning on going to the beach soon on what to pack. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.